What's up everybody? Welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So I'll overlay on the screen quickly a nice time lapse thing of me running through the bunker and redeeming a floppy disk, and then I'll cut back. Enjoy. <laughs>
And here we are back. So here's a cool little change. The spot you need can easily be found with exact coordinates. And there we go. So it's got a new little message for when you get a floppy disk. So let's go and see what we get from it. Uh, this is going to be the first floppy disk that I open in a little while. I'd like to get... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what I want to have a floppy disk. Steel is always good. A couple of steel bars or plates. Definitely appreciated. And that noise you can hear in the background is one of the rats currently drinking because it was topped up and they're all fighting over the water bottle at the moment. Right. Uh, this is cool, they've added these trees to the locations as well. Hey, good, it's not an infected box. Excellent. Right. Oh, we got a Tox Abomination coming in. Let's kill you. No, I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to loot this. So, no dog, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. Right, can I... What do you think? Grenade launcher and a circuit? No. Okay. Dual Berettas. Three steel. I'll take that. One piece of SWAT armor. No idea why they do that, but there we go. We've got the C4 that we've been needing. And a free engine part as well. It's a couple of little bits of copper. So that's not bad at all. That is definitely not bad. I'd like it if we could pick up those boxes and take them back to base. So yeah, up to... I got a... Um, what was it? An engine part out of an airdrop earlier. So we just need to do one more airdrop before we can raid. However, as I have some coins now, I can most likely use them to skip a couple of tasks. Well, to skip one airdrop. Ah, and I'm out of energy. Okay, I'll cut back in a minute. I'm just going to walk the rest of the way. I'm back, people. Let's complete this quest. And let's head out on a raid. Believe my chopper should be completely empty. And I am completely wrong. Okay. Let's take those out, and I think I'll just chuck them into here. Got to go out on this raid because we've got 15 hours left of our threat timer, and because we keep getting the camouflage skill, we haven't been getting any revenge raids to keep the timer up, which sucks. It really sucks. Right. Here we go, and we are raiding Sawyer. Sawyer's? Sawyer's? There you go. We'll call him Sawyer's. Alright, um, let me check in the raid log chat in my Discord quickly. Search for Sawyer's. Uh, how do I spell it? S-A-W-E-R-S. -E okay, no log of anyone raiding this base. Alright, this can be quite interesting then. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it's really cold, I've got my window open. Had to have it open most of the day because it's just been too hot for my poor computer. Alright, so they've got no chopper. Are we getting an open plan base? We are. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's see what they've put into their chopper. What are they putting there? Okay, they've put 18 engine parts in there. Yeah, they're just waiting on their gas tank. Alright, then let's, um. Let's just start with the right, bright red chest, yeah? It's generally a good one to go for. And I was wrong. Okay. No, don't hit that. Do not hit that. Always go for the colored chest, people. There we go. Two engine parts and a hatchet. Excellent. Right. And... A couple of spot helmets. So I'm guessing this one... Oh, let's kill these before they come and kill us. Mainly because potential for some good stuff in this base, and I would rather not die and lose it all. No! Game! Why do you keep doing this? Ugh. Well, there goes two chests that we can now not open. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. There we go. <sighs> Colour me disappointed. So at least, yeah, let's swap chest piece in there. Alright, let's go over this one. I need to remember to put C4 in the chest. I'll take that. So there's not really anything that good at this base so far. Like, come on, where are all your weapons? Hey, three steel, two copper. I'll take that, and we're about to be getting a raider's skill as well. Hopefully we'll get the hacker one. 
and this road won't be a complete dud. There you go. There we go. And I'm going to shut my door quickly. One moment. Sorry about the slam. And hey, we got the rubber skill. We've completed that now. 10% more likely to get a base with amazing loot for us. Awesome. Alright, so what was in this box? That was where the steel was. Let's see what's in the crate right behind it. And... Eh, come on. There's got to be some good stuff in this base somewhere. Where's it all at? Let's, let's try one of these boxes over here. No harm in taking a look inside. Right, okay. Think I'm going to be ending off the episode here, everybody. So, I hope you've all enjoyed. Sorry this is a bit of a shorter one than usual, but it's taken quite a while to record. We got the big one coming in? Yeah, we do. Alright, thanks for watching, people, and I'll see you later. Bye!